Hi, today our topic is federalism, democratic policy, politics, lesson number two. The lesson name is federalism only, class 10 CBSC. So first of all, what is the meaning of the federalism? First, we can discuss about the what is the meaning of the federalism. It is a system of government. It is a system of government. The power distribu distributed to Central and state level. It is a system of government to power distributed to the central and state level. It is called as a federalism. So, according to the federalism, the best example of federalism is India. India is following strictly federalism only because we have the 28 states are there and these 28 states and all these states are one of the headed in the central level. So according to this, this situation there are many number of countries like that uh, some of them following the federalism system but we are all uh, having the different kinds of religions and different kinds of caste system religions are there so and languages also different kinds of languages according to this situation we are following the federalism strictly so that's why the best example of the federalism india only like this kind of system how we have to follow it and what kind of uh, Two-tier system and three-tier system. What is the meaning of two-tier and three-tier system of government? And horizontal and vertical type of government we can discuss. And also how the linguistic means language based. How the states are divided in the, at the time of 1947. At the time of 1947, how the uh, states are divided and based on the linguistic that means languages how it will be happen such all kinds of things and also panchayati ras these uh, things we have to discuss in the lesson of uh, federalism first uh, we have to say about the levels of government There are levels of government, the horizontal type of government, vertical type of government. First we have to discuss about the government, this is divided into horizontal type of government. What is the horizontal type of government? There are three types of horizontal type of government, it is there. One is that legislative, second one executive and third one judiciary means uh, court of law legislative we have uh, called as Lok Sabha and uh, second one Rajya Sabha called as a legislative executive executive means uh, court of law sorry executive means law and also councils of ministers councils of ministers law in the sense of ias and ips category of the people they have to maintain the law and order in our society councils of ministers which are going to call as a home minister finance minister uh, sports minister education minister health minister railway minister like that we have called as a many ministers are there 11 to 15 ministers those ministers we can call as a councils of ministers those are called as a executives 
and where has come to the judiciary means judiciary means court of court of law judiciary means court of law is called as a judiciary so according to the this horizontal type of government the best example of the horizontal type of government is india only legislative to improve that that means they have to make a make or makes law who legislative and what is the executive executive means it is the implement the law implement the law so what is the duty of the judiciary judiciary it is in the solve on the solve the problems solve the problems are called as a called as judiciary that means legislative it makes the law because in the lok sabha and rajya sabha we have mlas and mps are there and chief minister in the state level and also we have the prime ministers also there and president also is there in the comes under the legislative only those all the people are makes the law if any kind of law any kind of rule implemented in our in our country welfare schemes otherwise any kind of pension schemes these are all kinds of programs are called as a make a law so these are people are makes the law execute to they have to implement the law how it is implemented how what kind of process it reaching to the public those are called as a legislative that means executives means those are all the councils of minister about the health side health minister education side education minister financial side financial minister railway development of railway minister like that all the kinds of development for the welfare of the public purpose we have the one kind of hand it is there in our in our government that is in the executive only judiciary judiciary means court of law court of law it is called as the judiciary means uh, they have to resolve the problems any kind of problems are there for the uh, one state to another state other one district to another district any kind of problems are there they have to solve it in the politically and socially also so this is this is called as a horizontal type of government the best example of horizontal type of government india only this are why it is a, a legislative executive judiciary it is a equal only there is no up and down that means legislative is a more power than the legislative executive executive is a more power than the legislative otherwise these two uh, things are the more power in the judiciary not like that everybody it is a equal horizontal only all are equal that means work should be distributing to the all kinds of people a one person cannot able to manage all kinds of the things so what we have to do we have to share the work we have to share the work based on the work only they have to develop in the country so all are equal only there is no differences between the one kind of one it is a good one is bad not like that these all three members are very important for the development of the country now come to that vertical type of government what is the meaning of the vertical type of government vertical type of government it is in the one is that central level central level state level and also we have the district level district level again the district level it is called as a two wings are there one is that in the we have municipality we have municipality and second wing it is the panchayat panchayat again the municipality it is in the urban level urban in the sense of cities 
and panchayats are in the rural level rural level in the sense of villages this is a one kind of concept it is in the uh, in our federalism it is a vertical type of government only central level state level and district level central level state level and district level all the states are are the they have to bound the rules from the central level and all the districts are they have to bound the rules from the state level who are there in the central level the in the central level we have the uh, prime minister president and uh, other ministers are there in the central level state level chief ministers all mlas mps are there in the district level we have the district level or mlas are there in the district level and mps also there in that and governor also there in the place of state level so according to these all kinds of levels are called the vertical type of government this vertical type of government it is not one is good one is bad one is a high power one is a low power not like that we are sharing the our work according to the situation of the state level only but not in this in the more powers are not there less powers are not there everybody equal into the in our indian constitution according to the indian constitution only they have to run the government all the kinds of leaders and also parties only so it is in a vertical type of government and the horizontal type of government both the governments are best example india only best example it is in india only both kinds of government this is the one kind of system in the federalism now we are move on to that two tier system and three tier system what is the meaning of two tier system and three tier system let us we can discuss now two tier system and three tier system of the government according to the two tier system we have the union government and state government two tier system is divided into union government and state government that is called as the best example of union government is the central government that is in the prime minister president and all the ministers are the state government we have the uh we should have cm governor and all the mlas are there the best example of the two tier system india only india are following both the tier system tier means a uh, system which is following government types or called tier so here our country are following both kinds of uh, systems only here we are wants to three tier system what is the meaning of three tier system again the three tier system in the federalism divided into three types one is the union list state list and concurrent list that means the power is distributing like this the power is distributing according to the union list who are wants to observe the things some allotment of the work in the union list who foreign affairs if one country or another country any kind of uh, foreign affairs are there about the trading side about exports and import side otherwise tourism side or anything it is there the problems or they have to manage the things in the union list only defense about the defense about the banking about the rbi and the bank systems all it is and communication development of the communications also called as a union list these all the responsibility in the union means central government state list state list in the sense of they are responsible about the police trade irrigation agriculture all kinds of things are called as a police trade irrigation and agriculture all kinds of things we have to call as a state list state is a responsibility for this thing according to the concurrent list education forest 
marriages, adoption, about the adopting, adopting the child, the other dowry. Uh, it is a actually some kind of cases are there in the court. Uh, these all the things are uh, some kind of uh, person they have to forcing the uh, mother in law and father in law to that. Uh, to more dowry, actually in 1961, according to the 1961 Dowry Prohibited Act, no person will not take the money from the bride to bridegroom grooms. So that is uh, uh, actually it is a one kind of crime. But even though some kind of uh, uh, problems are arising for the wife and husband, divorce, marriage, some kind of problems are the, those who will take the responsibility in the concurrent list. Who are there in the concurrent list? That means court of law, police also involvement it is going on in the place of concurrent list. The three tier system, the best example of three tier system also India. India is a three tier system or strictly following according to this. We have one more system, it is there, according to the, the government will run the smooth manner about that in the central level and state level. Power should be divided into two types. One is the coming together, holding together. Holding together federalism, coming to the federalism, we will discuss now. So, here... There are two kinds of federalisms are there. One is the coming together and coming together federalism and holding together federalism. Coming together federalism, holding together federalism. What is the coming together federalism? Holding together federalism, we will discuss now. Holding together and coming together federalism. So, the coming together federal individually state level they have the individual powers are there these powers are they combine together individual powers are there in each state the individual powers they have to develop the particular places and but they have to under the same umbrella means all the people are take the decision with the advice of the uh, higher authorities only. Okay, that means they have to discuss in the any kind of problem it is there in the particular place. They have to take that the problems and solve it and discuss such kind of things we can call as a coming together federalism. Coming together and they have to discuss. That is called coming together. So each one how the individual powers are there. But if they are wants to uh, mixing together and solve the problems are called as coming together federalism. Okay. And holding together federalism. Some powers are holding. Some powers are hold. Certain people only. Not for, for example collector. In the place that person is going to do the work, that person only, not for the other persons. Holding together means, holding together federalism means the power should be in the few hands. Such people only, that means police is there, police commissioner is there, there has some kind of responsibility. And governor is there, governors have one kind of responsibility. IAS officer is there, Indian Administrative Service. The person is having some kind of responsibility. So those are, they have to do the some kind of responsibility and mingled with political leaders and also they have to 
develop the country and make and they have to maintain the law and order so that is called we have coming together and holding together coming together the best example of the coming together usa and holding together we have best example in the india individual power it is there all the power should be under the control of the that means mla more mlas are there those all the mlas are and the cm governor and all the people are under the control of the union government they have some kind of responsibilities are there to develop their states there are 28 states or 28 cms are there in each state one one cm they have some kind of responsibility apart from those as responsibility they have to mingle with the prime minister this is called as a holding together federalism examples of usa coming together and holding together in uh, example is india so one more topic we have discussed in this federalism linguistic linguistic means languages how the languages are they have to based on the languages only our country divided into the states okay so let us discuss about the sir, information language linguistic means language according to the 1947 after 1947 we have some kind of problem and uh, at the time of 1950 also how we have to divide the uh, states depend upon that uh, their uh, languages how they have some kind of problem so two kinds of problem there are there means uh, telugu people andhra pradesh tamil nadu tamilians and oriya odisha all that uh, in the south indians no problem but we have the some kind of problems in the north indians almost all the north indians are they have to they speak in in hindi only how the uh, central government divide into the people divide the people into the states and based on the languages only but almost all the people in north indians are speaking in hindi only how how they have to divide that that is one kind of problem so these kind of problems they have to take the one kind of thing that is in the tradition and culture based on the tradition based on the culture they based on the art and architect things only they have to people are divided into several states okay the linguistic language is based on these the states are divided these states are divided based on the languages only the best example andhra pradesh telugu tamil nadu tamil like that we have to the divided but according to these all the people are are south indians but whereas uh, the language which is uh, given to the north indians we have to divide into the about the culture culture basis only tradition tradition basis only and also they have to about art art dance and all kinds of uh, aspects only we have to divide into the rajasthan rajasthan is about that uh, bihar uh, biharians about the uh, art uh, about the language about that uh, not for languages about the culture dancing style traditions only uttar pradesh bihar rajasthan and uh, himachal pradesh 
and many other places they have to divide into the according to the situation of the language and according to the situation of the tradition culture this is the one kind of federalism divide the states in their languages first time in according to the 99 amendment in our india according to 2014 we are divide the same language two kinds of state that is andhra pradesh and telangana that is we have to given the one such a kind of uh, highly uh, risky we have to do and we can change it about the constitution rules same language two states are there first time we have to divide it like that before that we should not do such kind of things but 2014 we can divide the two states in a same languages that is one kind of federalism system and move on to the another kind of system panchayati raj panchayati raj municipality there are municipality and panchayati raj it is there that is the another kind of system in our country what is the panchayati raj and municipality we have see that in the place of vertical type of government that districts are districts are divided into two types one is a rural area another one is a urban area whereas rural area we have the panchayat panchayati raj is there panchayat and whereas in urban area we have the municipality is there municipality so municipality under the control of the mayor mayor it is there and uh, those person in the municipality about the cleanliness about uh, uh, other kinds of roads repair electricity arrangement all the things are given the municipality only whereas panchayati raj also what is the meaning of the panchayat panchayat mean panch means five villages at means group so we have to five group of people are we have to five group of people are they can be make as a one kind of rule that is president is there in the panchayat that person only responsibility for all kinds of the uh, development of the public for the welfare of the public means uh, road repair electricity purpose safe drinking water health centers first aid centers and universe that means primary schools or arrangement repairing work all kinds in the rural level in the village level the person only has the responsibility in that so work will be distributing to the all kinds of people only so that is the main important task of the federalism so this is the lesson of the federalism we have the different kinds of case study questions will come for the in the federalism not only case study questions and also hard questions hot question high order thinking questions nowadays government is giving the good opportunities for our people how what to give some examples that is one of the question otherwise we have the two tier system three tier system what are the differences between the two tier system and three tier system also we have display about the explain about the systems are called as a uh, that is also one kind of uh, questions that they will ask you at the time of board exam this is the lesson of federalism thank you